So we're heading to Luton here, it's a really nice day. The skies are blue. So we're gonna go and see what Luton has to offer. Shepherd. I've been wanting to purchase um, some of her yarn for some time now um, and I just got one skein and I think I'll make a hat out of it. Um, it's her broom base which is 50% Hebridean, 25% Swartless and 25% Exmoor Blueface and it's the DK weight and there's 230 metres per skein so I'm thinking I mean, it has a little bit of drape, and I, not loads, but it's just enough. Uh, it'll be really lovely to make a nice hat out of, so I got that. Um, after Loop, we went to a shop um, recommended by one of my followers called, what's it called? I'll write the name below. Um, anyway, it was really nice fabric shop. It's just down the street from Loop, and um, I got a few nice pieces of fabric. So I got a meter of this, which I really like. And they do sell online as well, so I'll have to remember to put the thing down here in case you're looking. They do loads of like organic cottons. They do really nice coloured bias binding and stuff like that. So I got a meter of this. So I think this will be. Uh, few t-shirts probably and um, the merch or the oh I'll, I 
I can't remember anything today. I'll put the name of the pattern that I'm going to do below. I've been making these t-shirts for ages. Um, it's the... Uh, oh, I'll go and get it. So I can't actually, so I can't actually find the pattern, but it's called um, it's 100 Acts of Sewing, and it's just a really simple T-shirt. Just it just has a front and a back. The sleeves are already built into the pattern, and um, I just they're so easy to wear. I love them. So so I have that, and then I got half a meter of this. It's Japanese. I can't remember the name of this fabric, but it's some type of Japanese effect with the, you can see it's not like flat, it's got a wee crinkle in it. That's not a very technical word but anyway. So I've got half a metre of this and half a metre of this colour because I really really liked. I just, these are my colours, definitely. So these are going to be more t-shirts because um, I'll probably talk about this more in another episode but I've been doing the one year handmade and um, so I've been making these t-shirts because all my t-shirts have started to go into holes but I'm going to try and fix them but um, sometimes they get quite shabby looking and you don't always just want to wear it out. out. Um, so I've been making these other t-shirts that are a wee bit more dressy and you can wear them you know with skirts and with different things. So. They kind of look good with anything, so I like that. Kind of easy to wear. Um, when I was in the, the really lovely sewing shop that I can't remember the name of, that I'm going to put below, um, I also got a couple of patterns. Um, the tea by Merchant and Mills. I thought this it says it's a man's pattern, but on the back, I, it's got my, like, I'd fit into one of these sizes. I mean, it starts from like a 36, so that's tiny. So this would do anyone, I think. And um, I can, it's a design that my husband would like as well, I think. So I can make it maybe for both of us. Um, but I'm not gonna make this right away. Um, I'm gonna make the other t-shirts first. And one thing that I, this, this one year handmade, the most difficult thing was not having any jeans. I couldn't find any jeans. So when I went into this nice sewing shop, um, she recommended this pattern if you wanted to make your own jeans. So I thought they looked quite wearable, but she didn't have a pair sewn up, so I wasn't sure what the fit was like. Um, it says it's boyfriend jeans, but they don't look particularly like baggy. So. Um, and some of you might might have um, heard um, Meg from Mrs M's Curiosity Cabinets doing a tricky toile along. So it's probably the perfect thing to do for the likes of this. Um, where I'm not ex I'm not a very experienced sewer. I like just basically sewing like quite easy things, but I'm going to <laughs> have to up my skills a bit for the jeans. I think so. Maybe that that's something that I could do a toile along for. So I didn't get any fabric for this either, but I wanted to buy the pattern when I seen it because I've been searching online for ages to find a nice jeans pattern and I found it difficult to know like what to get or like what what would look good or like if it was beyond my <laughs> sewing ability. But um, yeah, I had a look at the pattern then after I bought it and I think I can do it, but it's not going to be... I don't think it'll be very easy, but hopefully it won't be too difficult either. So I'll put the name of the nice, um, the nice sewing shop below. And uh, yeah, those were my purchases. Um, I don't normally buy fabric, and I don't normally buy wool either, or yarn. I don't really buy that much. So um, felt like a big treat. So my plan for next year is I have a few, I bought a few nice skeins off people at Edinburgh Yarn Festival. So I think my plan is for 2019 to use them and enjoy using them. Um, yeah, and as a dyer it's really nice to knit with other people's yarn. It's kind of like a palette refresher after you've been touching the same base all day and you touch something different and it's like, ooh, it's quite exciting. So, but yeah, of course I want to knit some things in my own yarn as well, so um, yeah, hopefully other dyers out there can relate to that. So I hope you've enjoyed my first um, vlogmas. 
um, there's a lot of days crammed into one here but nevertheless I hope you enjoy it and I will probably make a few more before the month's out.